Welcome back to Development Dynamics. We've been all over the world <laughs> in, 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 in just, you know, in uh, the first few episodes of this series with uh, Deborah Kimathi. And this time, I, uh, fortunately, we are being hosted at Uluwazi Place. You're going to see, uh, we're going to tour you uh, to Uluwazi Place, uh, a very fantastic place with um, ethnic elements in fantastic artwork and design. This place is beautiful in every single regard. You should come here, you should bring your business here, and we are really happy. Thank you, Deborah, for joining us in this place. So uh, we've gotten to a really interesting place. So in around this time, between 2002 to 2008, as every other thing is happening, this is also where you meet uh, your future husband. That's where we left it off at. <laughs> Yeah, so we first met uh, late 2005. All right. Um, I think we first met with you around that same kind of season, actually. Y yes. Um, this is where you go uh, way back. Yeah. Um, um, first met my hubby then. His name is Moz. Yes. Um, we were both at that point coming out of actually pretty complicated long-term relationships. Okay. Um, and I guess as with all relationships yeah. at that age, kind of early, mid-20s, yeah, th there's a bit of baggage and... <laughs> yeah. So we were both kind of um, cautious about getting into another relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and in some ways that worked in our favor because we decided to be friends first mm -hmm. um, and, and see where it would take us. Mm. Um, as is often the case with relationships, um, we both figured out where we wanted to be at different times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so I think I, I knew a little bit sooner uh, than him that this was a relationship that I wanted to pursue. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I, I, I sometimes say men and their commitment issues. Let me not go down that, <laughs> that road. Stones will be thrown. <laughs> um, so it, it took us a while to kind of figure figure mm, that out, mm. but we um, did start um, dating, mm -hmm. um, and then eventually we got married mm -hmm. in October two thousand and eight. Oh, nice! Um, so it, it wasn't a hundred percent a smooth journey. I don't mm. know if any relationship is, uh, ever is, uh, and I think that's is. part of how you build the relationship because yeah. you yeah. figure things out. Yeah together that's the journey. um yeah. interestingly going back to this question of like when i decided to settle mm. in kenya mm -hmm. um i remember being um pleased that i had kind of found my space here mm. without a man mm. <laughs> so knowing that i had meaning and purpose here beyond any mm. romantic relationship was mm. important to me mm. Um, because it was such a huge move and a huge distance from what I knew to be home mm. that I didn't want to make that decision on the basis of romance. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, perhaps it would be different if once as a married couple we decided let's go to the other side of the world. Mm. But um, to kind of um, base such a huge move on, on that, I, I just, that wouldn't have sat so well with mm. me. And, and that's not to say that it's wrong for anybody else, yeah. just for me that for what I think for for me to have the confidence in, in in what I was doing and what I was called to do and what my sense of purpose was, mm. um, that it was it was bigger than that. Mm. Um, and so I think um, the, the timing worked well. In by the time we met, um, I'd done about three years um, at Seed of Hope, was mm. beginning to figure some of these pieces out, mm. um, and then to enter into that mm. relationship. Um, and there were still big pieces moving kind of on the, the seat of hope front. It was around that time that we um, met with what would become an investor mm -hmm. um, and had decided to invest in social enterprise um, for a seat of hope. Is, is just to connect Moe's and this work, is, mm -hmm. is, 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 uh, is he um, or is your, how's your relationship playing into your work mm -hmm. and is he um think is you and are you and him he he does very different things you do something mm -hmm. very different mm -hmm. is uh those uh, how are those dynamics and is a uh, part of like your work and your fundraising and uh, are each of you playing into each other's um area of work and strength how is that playing into so it's interesting mm -hmm. i mean whilst our work was very different mm -hmm. 
our journeys in some way were the same. Right. In that we were both founders of initiatives that there was this huge sense of calling around mm -hmm. that um, were driven by this sense of kind of a, a purpose bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, that neither of us, and this may not have worked in our favor, but neither of us were driven by finance or money. And, mm. and so there was a lot that we shared in our experience mm -hmm. and a lot of common experience, mm -hmm. even though the work was very different. Mm -hmm. um, again, I guess uh, not having necessarily some of the um, burdens, time burdens of, of kind of managing family and all the rest of it, it meant I could do a full day's work, then mm. I would go and um, they, they used to, as you might know, do lots of school visits mm. and campus visits. Mm. I would do a full day's work, then go help them out mm. at their mm. stuff in the evenings mm. and the weekends. Mm. Um, and and so we both, I guess, just became very present in each other's mm. work and, mm. and supporting to the mm. extent that a lot of people used to assume that I work for, um, for his Kubamba. organization, Kubamba. Mm. Yeah. Um, and and so yeah, it, it came as a surprise to a number of people that mm. I actually ran a whole other mm. <laughs> organization. Mm. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, we, I think, complemented each other quite mm, well mm, in that sense. Mm, mm, great. Um,